All right. We are live on Battlefield of the Boardroom with Colonel Garth Massey and Aaron. You have come to us with something unique and different today. Uh, normally, we get on here and we talk leadership and we talk transition and we talk about, you know, our veterans and military and business and all kinds of stuff like that. But today, I thought maybe uh, we should try something new. And that would be to put our money where our mouth is, because uh, I think when we spend a lot of time just espousing all our great wisdom, um, which is going on all over social media platforms, we forget that although the messages are useful and there's lots of great tips about finding jobs or finding transition or helping out, there are a lot of people who are living it and that's tougher. Um, so today's episode with Aaron is special because uh, Aaron is actually currently seeking a position. So Aaron, thank you for taking the time to come on with us. And uh, um, I'll stop talking in a second, but I thought it'd be cool if you're watching this, uh, here's an opportunity to get to meet somebody that I don't know. Uh, we met on LinkedIn because Aaron was doing what he's supposed to do. He is reaching out, he's trying to contact people, he's uh, taking a look at his job opportunities and skills, and he's looking to connect with people um, who have opportunities. And um, uh, so I thought it'd be fun to do this call. So if you've joined us today, Aaron, like first you were a Marine or you just got out, you, you were out a little while ago. Like, tell me about yourself a little bit. Um, yeah, so I started in the Marine Corps uh, on the reserve component, um, enlisted and, and had a plan in place to kind of uh, build myself into a, a Marine officer on, on the law side. And that was my forever plan, right? And we all know what happens to the best laid plans. <laughs> <laughs> So, um, ultimately I ended up declining my commission, but I stayed in the reserve component and, uh, deployed in 2003 for the first wave of, of OIF, OEF, uh, 2003. Uh, who are you uh, with then? Home. Sorry. Who were you with then? Uh, I was with comm squadron 48 at that point. Okay. So, um, came home, went right back to work. I, I had already completed my, my bachelor's degree. I was working with a civilian uh, consulting company that specialized specifically in the, in the automotive sector. And uh, I spent 18 years with that company. Um, and then when they went through a round of layoffs, I went ahead and, and thought, you know what, I'm pretty darn good at this. <laughs> so I will go ahead and, and kind of establish my own company, if you will. Um, and we had a great little, little, uh, umbrella that we were all working under. And, and there were several of us that had kind of gotten away from the big companies. Cause we liked that smaller company feel and we yeah. all knew each other and, uh, but we were all operating separately. Um, and then California went into the whole AB five and the 1099 rules. And so that kind of clamped that and doing business. Um, and ultimately, at the same time, I was being recruited by uh, a company that focused on um, helping small business and medium-sized businesses. And it was a great company. Um, I, I, again, I loved what I did. And uh, unfortunately, due to COVID, I was laid off. They just didn't have enough business as small businesses and medium-sized businesses started folding. Like it got crazy. Yeah. Um, and so what happened there, I just, I was able to kind of transition out of that. And now I'm looking for my, for my next opportunity. But, um, my background is it communication, uh, you know, anything that, that is that in that realm, that's what I started with on the technical side in the Marine Corps. And so I went and got my bachelor's degree in business. Um, not really sure where I was going to go. Right. Uh, after leaving USC with that, I deployed, came back and I went and said, you know what, it's time to get a master's. So I went and got my MBA and had that focused on, on IT and, and technology and project management. And so I was trying to really set myself up to move towards um, something in the IT world that would you know, advance me from director and into, you know, something down the road, who knows what, but uh, with all of that, um, you know, I've got a sales background, so I'm pretty diverse and, and I just want to work. Well, that is, I mean, 
unfortunately, where a lot of people are at right now. Um, but I think you bring some very unique things to it. I mean, first of all, the graduate school, the MBA, the you know undergrad at USC, which they've scraped out a couple games this year to to stay in the win category, I guess. But uh, the 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 big one is some of that discipline. I mean, you know, I I run consulting programs and we teach leadership and we do it based on the military stuff. So I'm a huge fan of people who understand process and the value of not just looking at everything like a tactical problem, right? Um, it's not about just showing up and like turning the the grinder, right? Like you have to have an operational plan, which is what you get um, when you learn how to put exercises together and, and, and the graduate school stuff. Um, but you also have to tie all of that to a strategic plan, which is what a lot of people miss. Like they try and jump from strategy to tactics and they forget that there's that that soft underbelly in the middle where you make things come together. Right. Um, and I, I've found, and you know, disagree with me on LinkedIn, I guess anybody's watching this, but the military really pushes understanding that process to the point where the process is the goal more often. Um, I mean, yes, we have mission accomplishment, but it's about doing things correctly and moving the ball forward and updating that system all the time. Um, so what industry are you shooting for? Like, I mean, if you've, you've, you've lived the solo life, you've, you've lived the corporate life, like, what are you looking for? I think ideally would be, you know, a small to medium sized company, um, that is looking to grow. That's probably my, my sweet spot where I can bring in some of that process where I can bring in some of that operational strategy and move that ball for them and help that company grow into what they want to grow into. And specifically you have worked, so sales, sales management, that's an easy one. Um, no, it's not easy. It's actually, very <laughs> it's not easy, complex. but, but uh, you've got the background there, right? So that's an easy transition. And then industry wise, like you said, automotive, um, obviously you have the comm and technology background, like where yeah. would you you know, what would, what would spark interest? What, what would you want to kind of kick off with? I think for me, because of what I'm seeing now, especially in, in today's times, uh, something in that IT world, in that communication world, um, in that direction is, is really kind of what I'm shooting for, whether it be a municipality or whether it be a private company um, or whether it be a, a, a large capitalized company none of that really matters. It just matters. Is the, is the fit the right thing for me? Right. I mean, I think I want to be able to enjoy the people and I, you know, that's ideal. Right. And and there's always going to be those, those um, situations where they're not the most enjoyable, but you're going to have to uh, learn how to work with everyone, which is what I think the Marine Corps also brings, right. We all have to figure out how to work together. Oh, the diversity in the military. Yeah. Huge, huge. Um, All right. Well, let's do this then. So I've never tried this before, but if you have made it this far, uh, I'm going to put a link to Aaron's profile in here. Aaron, put a comment on or something so people know how to friend you, find you. Even if you just connect with Aaron's profile, that helps grow his network, which gives greater reach and expanse. Um, So we are all helping each other like that. I like to say the Marine Corps is an amphibious fighting force. And that means we got a beachhead on the soul of every other Marine. So uh, there is no more prolific connected group um, on social media than the military, especially the Marines. Uh, so if you're in that group, you know, ping him, send him a note. If you got advice, if there's something you can help him with, shoot him a note. Uh, and then if your company likes to hire vets, uh, we run a nonprofit called Veterans for American Business Development, VABD. I'll put a link in one of the comments below on that for free. You can list your company, mostly at Southern California, because that's where I am. But uh, for free, you can list your company. You won't get any spam. You're not on any mailing list. You put the logo and the link to your website where you like to hire vets, and they can apply. And and we give that, it's vabd.org. We give that address out, information. Uh, You know, when Marines come to me and they're looking for a job, we always start there because uh, it's companies that care enough about hiring vets to at least list themselves. Um, and every now and then, you know, someone pings into the site and finds a job. And then when they contact you, then that's on them. Aaron, great to meet you. We try to keep this short. Um, good luck, man. And let's stay in touch. I, I want to hear kind of what you do next. I actually work with, uh, USC and it's called the board of counselors. 
uh, for their MBV program. And they've got a lot of good uh, graduate level stuff going on over there. Um, and then, uh, yeah, I'd love to see the comments, the re responses, share this one. Let's see if we can uh, help them out. Anything last, last minute thoughts? That's it. I really appreciate the time and the help, Garth. Thank you so much. Uh, no worries.